Well hey, my name is Ryan and you're watching Creative Sound Lab, a weekly video show of recording tips, pointers, and off-the-wall recording techniques. Well, I was recently recording an online drum track for one of my online clients. He basically sends me some scratch tracks of guitars and vocal. I record the drum tracks for him and send them back over the internet. And I used the technique for the room mic that I really haven't pulled out in a while, and it gave me some inspiration for this week's episode. It's really just kind of the basics of the MS technique. That stands for mid-side technique. There's a few really cool advantages about this technique that really make it useful, especially for small studios. The first one is that you can actually not have to have a pair of microphones that are matched in order to get a stereo recording. And so if you have one small diaphragm condenser, you have one large diaphragm condenser, and that large diaphragm can do figure of eight, then you can do the MS technique. Now, this is a little bit different from, say, having a pair of small diaphragms, having a pair of large diaphragms, and in that, you place them in the room. This technique really just puts those mics together in a single point. I'll go over the technique in just a moment, and it allows you to just pair two different microphones to make one stereo image. So it's a great way not to have to have two of everything. The second main advantage to the MS technique is really the ability to treat the sides separately from the middle. If you're using just a pair of mics, you're basically looking at left and right, and you're kind of stuck. Uh, you can try to treat some of the low end out and you know make the best of it but with the MS technique, you're actually you know, capturing the sides and you're capturing the center. And so you're able to take out the lows from the sides. You could take out the high end from the sides. You could compress the sides at a much higher rate than you do the center channel. So you effectively have kind of three different elements, three different tracks in the DAW. We'll go over this in a moment, exactly how to set that, this up, but it's a great advantage for small rooms, small home studios that may have a little bit of boominess in the sides. You really want to keep that garage sound, that really raunchy sound, but you want to have that focus low end. And MS Technique definitely gets us that. A third main advantage for MS Technique is really the bread and butter of why this technique is used. It's really the ability to change the, uh, the wideness of the stereo image later in post-production and mixing. It also sums perfectly to mono, so you're able to capture a stereo image with tons of flexibility and know for certain that you're summing to mono and there's no uh, artifacts or cancellation and weird frequencies. So let's check out how I set up these mics. Okay, so here's the system of the two microphones that I set up for MS configuration. And really mid-side, it's literally that. So you have the mid microphone, which is a cardioid mic, and you have the side microphone, which is a figure of eight mic. So this microphone looks to the center that's one channel in our DAW. Then we have this microphone. We record this as a second channel in our DAW. But then again, how do we get two channels? We're looking for stereo here. Okay, why don't I point this microphone this way and this microphone that way? Well, the reason is, is because mathematically, these are going to add together and make something really cool. What we do is we have sound coming from this side of the figure eight microphone. And that is, you could say, a positive uh, direction, a positive phase. So the wave, when it hits the microphone, the wave immediately goes up in our DAW. But on this side, the wave is coming from a different direction. So the idea here is to basically record this one time in, in your DAW, we make a copy of it. And that copy is, has the phase flipped. The original is left alone. Okay, so the wave goes up in the original. In the copy, we flip the phase and the wave goes down. You might think, well, that would technically, mathematically, metaphorically, uh, cancel this out, right? Metaphysically. But if we pan them, then they won't add together, okay? They would cancel each other out in a mono uh, system, in a mono mix. They would cancel each other out. But if we hard pan, the, the, two, um, the two copies of this microphone, and we flip one phase. Now we're looking basically for the positive wave this side, the negative wave this side, and when you add it to this, we get our stereo image. 
I know it sounds crazy, but it works. Let's check it out in the control room. Okay, so we're here in the control room, and let me just play for you a performance that I did. I don't have any of the close mics turned on for the drum kit. It is just this MS uh, configuration inside of the live room. Let's check it out. Okay, so while this is playing, I'm just gonna turn down the side microphone. Okay, so this is just the mid microphone, just that Neumann KM184. You can hear it's a lot tighter. Uh, if we want to leave the low end in this section, we totally could. It'd be right down the middle. But what I've done is I've copied the side microphone, so I have two copies of it. Then what I do is I take one of them, I pan them hard left. Take the copy, pan it hard right. I also flip the phase on that copy. Then I join them together so they move as one unit. And mathematically, they add together to create our stereo image. Okay, so I really hope you got a lot out of this episode. It's a great technique to know how to do. Um, really, once again, um, you don't have to have matched microphones. Uh, you can EQ the sides differently than you can the center, so you can treat them as two different elements. And then finally, you can determine the width of the stereo field in mixing. So instead of doing a uh, instead of doing a download for this week's uh, this week's episode. I'm actually offering a whole e-course on my website. Uh, you can sign up using the link below. It's all my best secrets. Really, how I came to where I am now, okay? I don't like to follow some of the uh, advice of others, and, and obviously, I mean, I have a little bit different approach, and this is why. This, this course explains it. I wanna give all my best secrets about how to record a band live in a room. Um, how to hustle some really cool gear, how to make trades, how to form a community around your studio, um, how to mix in a completely new way, completely overhaul, how you think to, to make a modern mix. But really these are fundamental concepts that will really change how you record and how you mix. Really hope that you join me for that e-course. First video is available right now, so I really hope to see you there. I'll see you next week.